Welcome back everyone. Today in this video, I'll be taking you through one of the best open source software that can be used for circuit design and simulation and that is Falstad. If you are into circuit simulation and all, your teacher might have said you about what is a multi-sim and all. But actually multi-sim is quite expensive, right? And um, for some reason being multi-sim is not even available for Mac. So why not we should try an open source thing? It is absolutely free and it is very much user friendly. So let me tell you why you should go for Falstad. The very first thing is, it is available as open source. Anyone can contribute and it will enhance time by time. Okay. And the other things are, it is available both online and offline without any kind of restriction. You can even make a digital logic designs over here and you can save your files for future references. And it is even available in dark mode as you can see and light mode as well. And it is very easy and user friendly for use. Okay, now let me take you how you can uh, come to this website. Okay, first of all, you need to go to Google and Google, you have to type Falstad circuit simulator. And when you will come to this page, the very first link you have to go over here and it will take you to the circuit simulator that is Falstad. Okay, as you can see, we have opened the website and we are getting a pre-built circuit by itself, which shows all the parts of an electrical circuit. Yeah, I cannot say all the parts, but yeah, you can see the main component or essential part of a circuit. That is, you can see a, a resistor over here uh, capacitor is there, uh, inductor is there, voltage source is there, again a resistant resistor is there and a switch is also there. Okay. So, and if you want to uh, go for the online version of it, so here it is, you can work over here as well. And if you want to download the offline version and you can go full standalone, so here is the option for that, standalone version and now i'll give you a quick walkthrough of its website and also make a circuit in front of you for your understanding and then you can go with the exploration by your own first of all we'll go to full screen mode which we can find in the file drop down menu over here you have to click file and you'll find the toggle full screen option or you can simply go and click full screen version that is over here okay now we are into the full screen mode as you can see over here now i have to first of all clear my canvas in order to work on it so what will i do i'll just select all and press delete how can i select all for windows you have to press ctrl plus a and for max you have to do command plus a and then press backspace my canvas is clear now i'll draw a circuit for you all so that you can understand how you can work in here for a simple circuit, I will take resistors and in order to draw something, we have to go to the option and in draw menu, you will find add resistor. Okay. So for this simple circuit, I'll take a resistor, a voltage source, some wire and an emitter for current detection. Now it is not required for me to go to the top and always select these options like add resistor. I don't have to click here and then draw. Simply what I can do, I can press R. As you can see, the shortcut for add resistor is R. So I'll just click R and I'll just drag and stretch a resistor. Okay. And then you can see the plus sign is still there on my cursor. I can again make another resistor over here. It's done. Now, what I have to take? I have to take a voltage source. So I'll go to voltage source and then I will draw a voltage source. Okay. And then what I'll do, I'll take an emitter. First of all, I'll take a wire. Okay. So I will take a wire. For wire, I have a shortcut that is W. So I'll press W and then I'll connect these both terminals. Okay. Now you can see the current is running through the circuit now what i want to do is i want to change the magnitude of a resistance and the voltage it is providing for example and for that what i can do i can hover around the element and then i have to click right 
right click and then you have the option to edit so you'll press edit and here the voltage is 5 I'll change it to 100 okay and then I apply it and then okay see now what I will do I want to change the resistance of this resistor so what I can do I'll just hover around it and then I'll press right click and then I'll go to edit and then I'll put 10 kilo ohm and I'll apply okay so this is how you can have fun with it now the next thing is suppose you want to select an element and you can you want to drag it here and there in the circuit as you can see I'm having a plus sign if I'll select anything and I will drag it then it will form something or the other element that I had chosen before I don't want this to happen for that suppose I want to select this whole resistor and I want to take it out from here to here for that what I can do I have to just press right click and there will be option to drag or select or drag cell so I'll select this now what I can do I can take any one element from the circuit and I can drag it for example I'll drag this wire out of the current circuit so I'll just do this you can see how easy it is I can again put it back over here okay now I'll show you how you can just add an emitter and then we'll show how it works so I'll add an emitter I'll go to output and there is emitter so what I will do I'll just add the emitter okay okay yeah this is what I wanted to show you whenever you'll be getting a red symbol like this it means you have not connected your circuit not properly and you should be connecting the circuit properly in order to get the accurate result that you desire in this case what I did I did a blunder I didn't connect it nicely and somewhere or the other it should have also worked but it isn't because it is not connected properly so what you have to do you have to go to select or drag select and then you have to fix it somehow so what I will do I'll do this and then I will do this see now there is no red dots you can find over here and it means we have connected the circuit very nicely now the other question is can we enlarge this or we can just shrink it it is quite very easy to do you have to just use your scroll wheel and you can scroll up or down and then you can see increase in magnitude of it now if I want to select the whole circuit and I want to move it around so what I will do I'll go to drag, drag all option and then I can drag it anywhere in the window okay so far I hope it is a very much fluent you might have understood each and everything that I said till now now the other thing you can play with is the simulation speed you can stop the simulation you can run the simulation or you can reset each and every detail and you can also see the current speed you can decrease it okay and the other thing is you don't have to go to this draw option in order to fetch all the things you can either use the shortcuts like w or r as i said before or you can simply do the right click and you will get all the option here as well so it is simple as that now if you remember in the pre-built circuit that we had seen in the initial time when the uh, false start had started we saw some of the graphs going on over here what were they how we can get it so in order to get the time and all and many other quantities that we want to see in our graph that we want to analyze the actual result that we want that can be seen through that graph in order to get a graph of any of the particular element what we have to do we have to go to that element we have to right click at that and there you'll find an option to view in new scope you have to just select this and you can see the graph has started now if you want to manipulate the settings and all if you want to vary the things the thing that you want to see on the x-axis y-axis or anything regarding that you can easily do it and if you want more than a graph then if you want suppose the graph of other element in the circuit you have to click on that as well and you have to to view in new scope so there are two graphs running at the same time and if you will see it clearly then you can find in setting options over here 
you have to just click this and you can change all the desired settings that you want okay i hope now this far is very much clear for a beginner's tutorial i guess and you'd be very much satisfied by the things that are delivered to you and you'll be great to go on with your own exploration you can find many prepaid circuit as well over here okay these all are the circuits that can be seen pre-built that can be found pre-built over here see i selected the ohms law and it started showing like this so there are many circuits and you can even form many circuits and many 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 more things are there which you can explore and here you can even save the file okay and you can open the saved file that is present in your computer and you can do many more things and it has got a lot of features that you can explore thanks for watching see you in the next one